Hey guys, welcome back for more Batman The Telltale Series. So we're going to do episode 5 today. The last one. The City of Light. So come on, let's go. City of Light. Previously on Batman The Telltale Series. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs, but the innocent people were a small price to pay. <coughs> you don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Okay, so we're gonna have, gonna have to deal with Penguin still. Yeah, we got Harvey last time. Dent, Penguin today. And Lady Arkham, right? Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. Oh my Gotham god. Citizens, including police commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken <laughs> hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bats' attention. <laughs> Oh my god! Drop him. <laughs> that that hurt. They're probably hurt. <laughs> Batman sighted boss. Right on top. No. Get to safety. I can't just leave these people. That man! No! It's a trap! Oh no! Not now. No, it broke as well. Oh! Oh no, Grogan died. It's it's point blank. He definitely died there. <coughs> you have to stop them. Save our city. Uh, and then comes Commissioner. Jim, Jim Gordon. He's he's gone. Batman just jumps off of a building. <sighs> what happened if Harvey... If I stop Cobblepot first, right? Is that going to be a little bit different? 
probably a uh, commissioner will still die, but a Alfred. different, a different oh, style. Thank God, with the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent. Hell no. Penguin improved the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on them, they'll go easy on you. If oh. only looks could kill half as well as this drone. I forgot to click. Shut down, <laughs> Batman. No, no, come on, just stay put. I was looking at the scene. I forgot to click. If I could just I'm sorry. Find a way to hack into it. I can get to Penguin. Okay. Uh, tear it out. The gash. Expose wire. Anything? One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The bat suit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce? Without Very your armor, dangerous. you'll be more vulnerable, but far from helpless. I'll underestimate you. meeting him as Batman, would play right into his hand. Penguin thinks he knows me, but he has no idea what I'm really capable of. He certainly doesn't. And that may be his undoing. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan, and that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. I mean, we had no choice. We we can. I mean, we can, we'll we will just go go as Bruce Wayne. I mean, I'm sorry. They, they didn't give us a choice to go as Batman or Bruce Wayne. Oh my God! The cops are dying again. Get back! What the hell? Martinez. I saw some kind of transmitter in behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two bit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. He won't expect me. I'm the last person Oswald will expect. I can use that. This isn't a gala, Mr. Wayne. Just making an appearance isn't going to do jack all. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline... We're both dead. Hmm. 
Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. He's really expecting Batman. Uh, I just go forward? Oh! The cops are dead, look. Flashback. I hate them, Bruce. I really, really hate them. Making fun because my mom, because she's an Arkham. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They oh say God, bad stop. things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. <laughs> I'll smash all the dumb faces. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. Oh, the blood is still there. Look. The penguins got away in Cobblepot. Park. When you punched it as a kid, it's still there. Oswald. Bruce, welcome. The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect law. Not that I'm upset, but what does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he's closer than you think, just waiting for his moment to strike. Oh, we'd know if he was. I've arranged quite the sounding light show for his arrival. And when he arrives, oh, <laughs> look at Gordon. Oh, the lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. What? You started it. Batman! Damn it! Where the hell is he? He's usually so bloody prompt. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? I don't need Batman's help to bring you down. <laughs> you hear that, Batman? Someone's awfully full of himself. Not that I don't think you can handle yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I I was drugged. You? Any me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The way it's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? 
I'm not waiting any longer. Batman, you did. We're done chatting, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. They'll make mud out of you and all the lawmen around this park. Your mother deserved Arkham. You heard me, she was insane. Unfit to walk the streets. And you know it. I'll kill you! Shoot, Gordon! What are they doing? Oh, bloody hell! to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <clears throat> Wait, reach his face? <laughs> oh my god. Is that all you've got? Goodbye, Oswald. <laughs> it reaches <clears throat> face. Rot in hell. Freedom is right. Okay, stretcher. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. It owes us both. You and me both, Lieutenant. I won't argue there. You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. Shut up. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. Okay, it's Batman's turn now. We need to find Lady Arkham. So if we got Cobblepot last time, it's gonna be Dent, right? So it's gonna be a little bit different. I want to see that. I want to try it out. How it's go back. the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Bat Cave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse. Most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks I worry about the toll they've taken on you facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days D not just the physical toll those were men you once trusted and after finding out what you did about your father people must seem a great disappointment to you always letting you down well, not all people You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that wanted to put an end to his crimes, if I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation, and it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. 
The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. Oh, updated. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Uh, what is this? Gotham feed, the codex, Lady Arkham file. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reported for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Hmm. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Okay, next one. Children of Arkham. The Children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Okay, back out. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we penguin. just see what he was doing? Penguin folders. Records? Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Bruce. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some... Well, but colorful diseases <laughs> annoying but not hard to fix ah. oh, that's better cobble well, no pot. surprise here Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records his background is completely fabricated he was enrolled at Cambridge ridiculous calm down Alfred I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Okay, real estate. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Surveillance? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. 
How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? It's not. Unless... Hold on. Security? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. One more? What? I mean, we check everything. Nothing anymore. We can, 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 can go down? What? Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... Oh, we got it now. There. Okay. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Oh, it's Catwoman. It's Selena. She stole from you? I mean, I stole After from her as well. opened our doors <laughs> to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole, it's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Mm. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Okay, we're gonna confront Selena. expecting you thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least if you wanted to see me you could have just called <laughs> the chase is so much more fun but I know you're not here for me are you I don't blame you for wanting it back although it only seems fair that I take something from you you didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. Oh my god. At least I had the decency <laughs> to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, okay? That was wrong. Well, your hindsight's 2020. Mm. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. 
Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. Oh, she returned it. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. She's lying. You talk a good game, but... I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as... That's not all it means to you now. The only thing it means... Is that I'm very good at my job. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... Gotham needs me, and I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. <laughs> Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. Aww. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. She's lying. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You... You barely know me. <laughs> Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I just wanted to see the reaction. Come on now. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Big I to get out of this place. Goodbye, Selena. <laughs> I just wanted to see the reaction, okay? I, w I wanted to choose uh, because we're a good team, but I wanted to see. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! Oh, no. I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Okay, 
Alfred, Alfred got... The girl left. Alfred got kidnapped, most likely. Oh, the door is broken. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. Okay. What happened to you, Al? Detective skills activate. Broken lock. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Hmm, fire poker. How the hell? Who threw that? <laughs> Fireplace? Ash everywhere. Okay, let's link this and let's link this. Let's try. It's too high. Okay, link. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Furniture? A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Hmm. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Mantle? What did they do to you, Alfred? Bookshelf? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Vase? Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Okay, maybe this and this or this no I can link it only to this one Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred I can't link this one. This one I can't link. Blood splatter. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Wait, right, what can I link with that one? Pool cue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. I'll get that and this one. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait, that picture doesn't belong there. Hmm. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The 
butler did it. Password reckoning. reckoning. You have no idea. Reckoning. what she's doing to him all right well then let's get to work alfred keeps adjusting his glasses the reflection he's making sure i see the reflection in his glasses <laughs> he knows the bat computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in and i can view the virtual image using my cowl good thinking alfred Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Cal VR. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> he recreated this? Oh my god. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Uh, boxes? Water heater? Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Boxes. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Mason stamp. A Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A bus? A bus stop? Basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Service by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. How do you even know what's the right answer here? What? Okay, let's try it from the right. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed oh. her foster parents. We got it. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually, Ooh. one of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity. I'm afraid. Yeah, look, no armor. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. Nice. This ends tonight. It's 
So we're using an OG suit. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. Oh, he's not here anymore. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Um, uh, chair. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Blood splatter? The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. Anything? Okay. Blood trail. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? I kick. Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. Rope ladder. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Jump inside. What is this? Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. Some kind of torture chamber. What's uh Vicky? Belts. Abused? Blood. Maybe she was abused. What? Vicky. Oh, she, she was, was abused. Kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. That's why she killed them. Understand. It's why she killed the veils. Yes. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but, but I can't imagine what she went through. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. That's why it was so easy for her to kill them. Ugh. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Hmm. Fresh blood? Glasses. Alfred's glasses. Honestly, how could a person do it? Uh, do something like this, right? Okay, a belt. Look. A belt. You're gonna be That's adopting kids. Blood. And do this. Oh my God. Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred. No. 
shackles. shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. Shock. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Mm -hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe. Hmm. Drawing in the light. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Link them. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Okay, it's time to face Lady Arkham. Are we gonna meet our buddy again, Joker? John Doe? Is John Doe still here? Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. There she is. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his pig. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the butler, or the rest of Gotham, unless it needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You are tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. <laughs> There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Oh, hell no. They're gonna fight me now. Our 
Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me have him. He's the crazy one! <laughs> Just like that, we won. Oh my god. Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went... That way. <laughs> oh, hell no. Everyone is fighting. The doctor... To link everything. Long table or kitchen? Stun gun. Okay, let's go. Oh, she caught her hair as well. Batman. Take your time, Saz. That's the plan. <laughs> Gordon. You're going to die. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. <sighs> Jesus. Oh no. Here they come. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Let's go. Oh, Roland. Roland. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. God. 
Damn. She has better tech than me. <laughs> Why don't we have something like that that can stop us from falling? Vicky! <laughs> You need help. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wynn's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Hmm. Oh my god. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can't you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? I he can walk, okay. Behind a status <laughs> I well. can walk, I'm sorry. I thought it was a cutscene. He's cut a coward. Leaving other men to carry his burdens. It's a trap. Jesus Christ, there are a lot of traps here. Oh, there she is. End of the I'm line, curious, Vicky. Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. What is this? This is under Arkham? She loved her uh, foster brother. Hold on, Alfred. You... You... You came... You came for me. After what you said... What? I knew you'd come. The man... Man, I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <laughs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. Uh, you know, I just don't believe you. 
I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh my god. Batman, don't you- Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Yeah, take it off, take if it off. that's what it will take to save him. No! Are you shocked? <laughs> This must be some kind of trick. Yeah, Bruce it is Wayne, a trick. He, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true My God. Wayne. <laughs> Shut There's up. nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Oh my... Oh... <laughs> Jesus... My ear. <laughs> no more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. Over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Get her. Oh. Ooh. <laughs>
I'll never trust you. No. She did. She's not gonna be the sequel. She died. She definitely died. One week later, As my to ear... last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her what? death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. Oh, they know now. Okay. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Look at my ear. Any it's word gone. from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I, I <laughs> haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. I mean, she died. But, uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. That ear better show up in the sequel. Like that, I mean. We will get through this, Bruce. If it's fixed in the Don't next lose game? sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. It's bad. You should be proud. Uh, there will be more. Lady Arkham. Penguin. Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not. But you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. Two piece. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. They were much cooler, though, if I go You've as Batman, right? helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Mm hmm. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. I'd say I like Batman more. I want uh, it's Perhaps much more cooler. Perhaps one is truly the mask. 
Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon yes. will be grateful. We are currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Commish Commissioner Gordon. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? I wanted to show Gotham that I stand with its new commissioner. Uh, acting commissioner. But all the same, I appreciate it. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. Look, I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, hey, let's go. I always wanted this to be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this classic. <laughs> He's gone again. I should probably be used to that by now. Hmm. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching. Ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. Who is that guy? Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. <laughs> and just minutes ago, acting commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh, Joker is oh, there. Oh, boy. It's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. God damn, he's gonna be... He's gonna be the main enemy in the next game. Can't wait, I can't wait. Yes, I can't wait. Okay, let's see. Distract Penguin, yeah, 76%. Comfort it. Of course you're gonna comfort him. He took care of Bruce. 2.1. How many 2.1% respond as Alfred blame himself? 91%. Of course. Of course. Of course people are gonna say, oh, yes. Same thinking. Take of the cowl. Okay. Oh, a lot of people went as Bruce. Okay. Not just as, uh, not as Batman. Do I need to see this? Compassionate. Ooh. I am merciful though. Cunning. I'm very honest. Very nice. Collaborative. Yes. If this is nice to look at at the end of the game. Okay, is it is it okay, so actually over now? Okay. So we finished uh, the Batman Telltale series, the first game, I mean, we finished the first, or, the, or rather the first season. So I wish that everything that happened here would carry on to the next game, right? Like the ear, as I said, the ear, yeah, it, it had some dents on it, right? 
hopefully it carries up or it carries on to the other game i think telltale games does it right in walking dead i think they do it but let's see yeah i'm playing both of them on steam so maybe it will detect the saves hopefully hopefully but yeah this is it for batman the telltale series very nice honestly i think i actually enjoying these games this one the wolf among us I enjoy them so much. It's, it's such a fun, uh, like, what do you call this? Genre? Yes. Of games. It's very nice. I wish, uh, they're, they're, Telltale, Telltale games are, uh, what do you call this? Coming back. Yes, they're making a comeback. Hopefully, it's a successful one. They got bankrupt, I think. That's why they stopped in, like, 2019, I think. Or 2018, something like that. And, be and because of that, like, a lot of games get cancelled. Like, The Wolf Among Us 2, I think, was supposed to get out much sooner. But, yeah, things happened. But at least we got Season 2 of Batman still. And we're gonna play it next time. So, hopefully, we enjoy that as well, like we did in this one. So, I'll just see you in the next season, guys. Bye-bye.